still silent. At the time of Love News' visit, the suspect in handcuffs has been brought to his house, which sits directly opposite that of the deceased. The police led him into the residence as part of investigations. Some visibly angry residents attempted pouncing on the suspect. A neighbor speaks of the relationship between the suspect and deceased. <laughs> She clothes and feeds the suspect anytime she is in the country. He comes here always. He is like a grandson to her. The deceased is a very good friend of the suspect's grandmother. The deceased, Mark Hose, in her late 50s, lived in an apartment on the second floor of a two story building. It is believed the suspect went through a window that leads to the apartment of the deceased to gain access to her. Residents say the suspect attempted breaking into the apartment weeks back, but the issues were resolved. An eyewitness says he was drawn to the scene after hearing noise that suggested a tussle in the apartment. The alarmed resident broke into the room to find the woman in a pool of blood. <laughs> I heard some people struggling in her room from my hall. I called her, but she didn't answer. When I came to her door, I knocked twice and she didn't respond. I had to call other tenants to help me break into the room. We could still hear them struggle. One tenant peeped through the window and saw blood. So we had to intensify efforts to break into the room. We entered to find a pool of blood, but the body wasn't there. We later found the body hidden in the bathroom. The suspect, Bethy, was subsequently arrested by some residents who dragged him from the scene after pulling a gun to aid his escape. Police continue to investigate the matter. For Joy News, Nanaya Uchima Kumase. According to health authorities, most of the cases recorded were minor injuries dominated by bruises and skeletal pain. Affected persons have since been stabilized with the one severe case of a fracture referred to another facility. Medical superintendent of Edra Government Hospital, Dr. Emmanuel Amwa Abwaje, says more patients will be discharged after a review of their x-rays. We've stabilized all of them. They've been on analgesia and other medications to help allay, allay their, their pain. So we've been able to discharge 28 of them this morning. Uh, we've taken x-rays for almost all of them, hoping that we'll review the x-rays this afternoon and also further discharge uh, the rest that are there. We may have to refer one case, and that's the case of the right closed tibia and fibula fracture. The dining hall caved in when students were having their supper on Monday. The rubble of the 20-year-old building is guarded at one side of the hall. The roofing of a new classroom block was also affected. The cooked rice the students were supposed to have for supper scatter all over the concrete floor. At the time of Love News visit on Tuesday, students were out for lunch. The meal was served under trees on the dining tables as the students stand to take the meals. Director General of the National Disaster Management Organization, Eric Nanajman Prempe says there are efforts to find both temporary and permanent solutions to the challenge. We are going to put our heads together with the assembly and see how uh, temporarily we can help the school to go on with their normal activities of cooking for the kids because they still have to be in school and then together we will also talk to the Ministry of Education and get fun to see how in the long term they can get some dormitory because what was here was not the best. Government is also ready to support the kids and the parents as far as the hospital bills are concerned. I'm discussing with the MC and government will do that so that the parents will not come in to do that. So we want to assure parents who kids are, whose kids are here that they are in safe hands. Come has returned to the school. Students are going about their normal activities, though some of them still harbor some fears. Behind me are staff of the school's kitchen, though 
the shelter under which they cook is no more, they are doing their best to get some nutritious meals for these students. Municipal Chief Executive Dr. Kingsley Osei says efforts are being made to offer psychological support for the students. Now they have been asked to concentrate on their studies because they are brothers and sisters who were involved in one way or the other with various degrees of injuries are doing very well. And that also we ask them that if should their parents call that they are coming down, they should stop them because they are in safe hands. And I talked with the staff too that they should continue to do the teaching alongside advising them, counseling the students that they should not fear because everything is under control. The hope is that very soon the problem will be solved. A new dormitory and the hope is that very soon the problem will be solved. A new kitchen and also um, a dining hall will be built for the school. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima reporting.